Won't you come here? You know the way. It's the one you made. Oh, built it in the sky. All that's in your eye now. Not the same. Watch it tumble down, falling all around. We are Savoir Door, and my name is Deidre Muro. And I'm Paul Hammer. We have a five piece band we play live. Uh, it's the two of us then Alex Foote on guitar, uh, Gary Turio on bass, and Ben Marshall on drums. Don't you worry, keep on sleeping. Paul and I both uh, sort of did the solo singer-songwriter approach when we were in college. We met at a songwriting club at NYU, and um, there was one time after we'd known each other a couple years that we were just sort of frustrated with that situation and the limitations of an acoustic guitar and just playing by yourself. And, and so we were like, okay, well, one weekend we'll go upstate to Paul's family's house and whatever we make we'll finish and just call it a, a, a done recording and that's how we became a band it was never there was never a moment of oh we should be a band you know we should we should play music together right. like on a, on a serious level we just didn't really know what it was going to become you know so we we had this 48 hour challenge um, the only rule was no acoustic guitars mm -hmm. by the time we just really wanted to yeah. just break out of that shell. Uh, but yeah, after that, it was sort of each step was almost out of just like we just had to do it. You know, we were encouraged to record more. We ended up, you know, book, uh, label booked us a show. So we we're like, I guess we got to have a band now to play these songs. And uh, yeah, it sort of just went on from there. First EP that we recorded uh, was called The Adventures of Mr. Pumpernickel and the Girl with Animals in Her Throat, which is basically the two main characters of the story. It was really like a 19-minute short story kind of fairy tale with, you know, I think it was 12 tracks, right? 12 mm -hmm. songs, uh, short which songs. is 12 very short little songs. Uh, and then the second release was called In the Wooded Forest, which was actually uh, with the same setting, uh, sort of conceptually for the record, but we expanded into more sort of... Uh, longer, more developed songs, like longer structures and stuff. So that was In the Wooded Forest, which we released in 2009. And now the new record, Our Nature, which we worked on for three years, we just released on Network Records um, in June. It's sort of an evolution in the same kind of way, where we now honed in on two characters within this world. Uh, and it's sort of like a chaotic love story uh, between a girl and a monster. Naturally. 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 <laughs> You are the loveliest creature that I ever did see. In the Wooded Forest was sort of an analysis between the natural world and the man-made world and sort of how they clash. And our nature is sort of the idea of adding a human element and adding the emotion and the sort of uh, really a close-up view of human interaction. So it's sort of this you know, it was kind of became a blend of a double meaning of like, you know, our nature as humans emotionally and psychologically, but also our nature being like sort of what we're made of and the natural world and sort of how wild it can be and unpredictable. So it sort of was, a, in, you know, moving in a direction away from that in the wooded forest in a more sort of focused sense, but still connecting the two. A big part also of what we were trying to do initially with this collaboration was to get out of um, purely writing songs based on like your own personal experiences and emotions, which has its value, obviously, and we appreciate that and have mm -hmm. done that for a long time, but it was something that both of us hit a wall with in that, you know, for me, I felt like it was very limiting, but not in a positive way. I wanted to, and, and with like bigger stories and concepts, they're always metaphors for what you've experienced personally anyway. It's just a more fun way to do it on a grander scale, you know, and, and uh... It's just a fun way of songwriting too, where you're taking, not only are you writing sort of about 
themes and emotions and characters, but you're taking it a step further and sort of, it's fun to create these new fairy tales in a way. Because I think just, you know, passively over years and years and years, you, you're influenced by fables and like Greek myths and stuff like that. And we've even like referenced that when writing the new record as us sort of being like the Greek chorus in the setting. That's kind of why we dress in white and we're sort of the narrators. Because of the nature of the, like the character and plot driven like these fairy tales and these stories, they have almost always they have a visual element that we work with. You know, whether it's you know the first EP, we have a map on the inside that sort of shows the layout of the wooded forest, and then you know from there it's every you know most of our stories have some sort of some sort of visual element that we either write through. So in order to, it's really fun to like be able to incorporate that into the live set as well, and I think especially like moving into this fall, we're gonna start doing it even more. It, um, it's not really a spoiler, it, it, um, it falls apart. It falls apart and it's, it's sort of a, it is a metaphor sort of for, you know, just a dangerous encounter or, you know, it can be any encounter really. It's like, it's, a, it's an ex sort of journey between, from encounter to the absolute epitome of just like a magical experience between two people or I'm a person and a monster. Um, and the record, the halfway through the record is sort of this, um, this more supernatural experience between the two characters. But in the end, it really, it ends in the two characters just falling apart for seeing too much of one another, and they end up alone. And in the morning we find we are the same car. At the end of the day, Paul and I both love writing pop songs. We love it, that's what we do naturally, that's our inclination, and that's the whole point of this this project is to write interesting pop songs that we wouldn't have written otherwise, you know, to give ourselves characters and locations to inspire lyrics or the story, to put each other on instruments we don't normally play, to, you know, and so the conceptual stuff I think is, is very much, not in the background, but it's, it's, a, it's an element of the foundation that if people are interested in it, yeah, we'll give you everything. We'll tell you everything about it. We'll talk about it forever. And, you know, yeah, but, but yeah. at the same time, there are a lot of fans that will just get into one song just because mm -hmm. of the way it sounds. And that's what I think is awesome about this, is that I think we are succeeding in what we want to do because we're there are so many levels, but at the same time, you can just hop in at a track in the middle of the record and hopefully just enjoy it for what it is, that one piece. We're Savoir Adore and look for us on Last FM.